What's going on YouTube? This is Fish Freak Phil. Wanted to give you an update on my Fluvo Evo 13.5. And I apologize, I up tried uploading a video earlier in regards to me dosing reflux. I finally got it up today, some 10 days later. But I thought it was important that I get that first video updated because it showed you kind of a before picture of what was going on a bit, you know. Um, I've been dosing, I've dosed this, and it's supposed to do one dose and let it go for a minimum of, of 10 days, maximum, of, I think 10 to 14 days, I believe it says on there. Um, yeah, so after 10 to 14 days, you're supposed to do a water change. Um, but I wanted to show you what has been going on with this tank in terms of after I've been dosing this thing. Let me just, I'm gonna shut my flow off real quick. Look at the, let's see here. So right now I just have my uh, protein skimmer running. You can hear it running. Um, wow, look at that. Frost one, it's looking dope, ain't it? Branched out, looking beautiful. Let me just show you, if you could look right under the starboard, strawberry zoas there, there's a huge patch of brush allergy, or I thought it was originally bryopsis, but it turns out to be, it was brush allergy. Um, you can see that it's almost out. I tried picking out, it was really dense and thick back there. But look at what's happened. And if you could look all along the rocks near the star polyps there, there's still, there's still brush, there's still algae there, it's still there. But it's dying out. It's been ten. It's been about ten days. Now, what I'm going to say, if you look down, there's a little patch of it there still. Actually, no. That's actually it's actually gone. That's actually just a there's a dead head of a coral that was um, of my, the. Um, There's a spot where it was a dead, um, one of the pops died when I first got the coral. It just never came out. And there's a patch of algae and it's still kind of still in there. Um, but based on what it was looking like before, look at, look at this, if you can, if can zoom in. It's basically dying off. Now, a couple things. You're supposed to dose um, for every capsule. You're supposed to dose uh, uh, takes care of ten gallons. So for this tank, I use basically one capsule, which is for ten gallons. So it was basically a little bit under dosed for the size of the tank. Um, like I said in my previous video, I wasn't tr I wasn't going to open up a second capsule to try to get uh, you know basically a third out of it. So I just I'm fine with just dosing one capsule for 10 gallons for this tank and letting it run for 14 days. Maybe I might even go a little bit, a few days more than that. But this works. It like I'm literally watching this huge patch. Just, it looked like, I was kind of skeptical at first and then within 24 hours, um, I, saw, I saw signs within 24 hours, but then I was kind of like, eh, maybe it's not really doing anything. But I got to tell you, like, it looks like huge chunks have just kind of, and I'm looking at my skin, and it's probably ending up in my sump, in my skin. So when I do my water change, I'm going to have to do a really big water change on this tank to make sure I get a lot of this out. And, um, but it, it was a huge patch of it back there, right back there. And I tried pulling it out. It wasn't very really successful. At it. I didn't want it spreading around the tank. Um, so I kind of just, well, thought, well, let me just dose this and see what happens. It works. There's no, I don't know what else to tell you, but it just works. Um, now, I don't know how effective reflux is versus the g generic fluconazole, because that's the active ingre ingredient in uh, reflux, it's fluconazole. That's what kills, um, it kills bryopsis and uh, brush allergy. 
Um, does nothing against bubble allergies. As a matter of fact, I got a couple of bubbles I gotta go in there and hand remove. Um, Cause you can zoom in there. Right there. See it? So if you don't know what bubble allergy looks like, that's what it looks like. And the trick is, you wanna do this very, um, very easily when you're removing that. You can basically get some gloves on, just basically rock it back and forth until it loosens up and, and peels off. But it is more, it's uh, better if you do it while you're siphoning. So just in case it pops, that you siphon any of those spores out of your tank. Because if you don't, if you don't get it out and you pop it, basically the spores are spreading all over your tank. So they're gonna end up landing someplace else. And basically you're, at that point, you're spreading in the algae around the tank. Um, there's, there are, there are things that eat it like uh, green em emerald crabs eat, uh, eat bubble algae, but you're, I think that uh, that's probably, for my opinion, it's a bad decision, unless you want a green emerald crab in your tank, but essentially it's gonna go over there, pop the bubble, eat it, but in doing that, it's spreading more bubble algae around your tank. So um, if you can, and it's, you've caught it early, what you can do is basically just manually remove it when you see them. Um, I've had bubble algae in this tank for months now, probably um, for, for a long time, I'll just say that. Um, I, can, I can say, I've man, I've, when I first saw it, I was, I, was, uh, I panicked, um, but I didn't um, did research on how to remove it, and I saw that you can, you can actually basically just move it by hand. Um, you don't want to pop it. Um, if you pop it, make sure you have a siphon there that's going so you're sucking up all the spores out um, in that area. You want to do is also make sure you remove any leftover um, algae that's at the base because if you don't, it's basically going to regrow in its place. I had that problem. I had some growing in the top of that, uh, that colony of zoas there. Um, I had to actually um, pop it. Uh, and suck it out and make sure I scraped really well to remove um, the base of it because I did that the first time and it grew back. So the second time I made sure I got it, went in and got it good. Um, earlier, I found some balaji there, a couple of tiny ones. So I just, I just basically scraped it off and siphoned. While it, while I, I scraped it while siphoning. But this uh, reflux, it works. Um, don't go by what I'm saying. Go do research on it. And that, I mean, that's how I found it by actually researching about it. And I was looking for um, just generic, um, generic versions of it. And I found this at Bulk, Bulk Reef. Um, I just think I forgot how much this was, but it wasn't very much. But it's definitely, uh, definitely worth having. Um, from what I've seen, people have dosed this one time and not have to redose it. Um, fluconazole, not, not so much reflux. Um, I'm just talking really generically when I say dosing, because I mean, fluconazole is the active ingredient, like I said before, in this. Um, so I've seen people, I've read or watched other videos of people dosing with fluconazole and only having the dose a single time and not have to um, re keep redosing. Um, so that's just, uh, it's an update. I'm gonna let this go for more days. I want. I want to see after. I'm probably. I'm probably gonna let it go for another uh, six days um, because, like I said, I underdosed it, and I probably need the time, the more time for it to run through the system and kill off the uh, the algae. Now, one of the things I did see, and I and I, I apologize because I don't remember the actual name of the video. Who who. Uh, who put it out there. One of the videos uh, I did see um, suggested that when you see the tips turning white when you first dose it, to not remove the not remove the weak algae because it starts it starts getting affected at the tips of the algae and it works its way down to the base. And based on the way this thick brush, this thick like mangled amount of algae I had back here based on what I saw I absolutely believe that because it started I saw it 
start at the top it turned like it started turning white really the whole thing the whole the whole color of the whole patch turned like faded green from a dark faded green to a light faded green and then the tips turned white and I'm watching and I'm watching the whole patch kind of just recede down so it absolutely is working um, don't it's not it is it is absolutely I will I absolutely think it, will, it is working. I, I don't have any doubts. There's nothing else that I'm doing that would suddenly have the results that. So if you have brush algae, bryopsis, definitely want to dose this. Um, if you don't have it, you may want to just get some just in case. Um, particularly with um, bryopsis, from what I've seen, um, it spreads fast. I originally thought this was bryopsis, but it's not, it was brush algae. Um, so I'm, I'm really, uh, some soft creep on there. I'm really excited to, to see what the end results are as soon as I get done with these uh, uh, other days. Um, I'm also doing it, dosed it in my other tank, but uh, I got another video I gotta do on that because we're having some other issues over there. And I'm actually excited to show you um, but uh, that that's for another video. I don't wanna um, talk about that right now. So, but um, yeah, as you can see, my green star pops are gone. I took that out of the tank. Um, I had two rocks here, and green star polyps move fast, and they enveloped the entire, both rocks. It was literally the size of my fist. I had a rock the size, you know, the size of my fist, a colony. And so I took it back to my LFS, you know, as a trade-in. Um, didn't want to, you know, make sure it finds a new home or whatever. Um, but I, I just did not want the with with how aggressive it is and what I've seen. It would just it was very it was it was go, it was shortly going to top onto my main rock once it does once it. It did that it was it was that's all she wrote like it was basically gonna take over everything um and i did not want that you know i mean maybe one day in the future i'll do a tank and just fill it with just green star pops and let it go um but you know right now i kind of want to keep things um the way they are um i actually am looking to put something down here in this area i have some ideas um there's one particular uh uh coral I am looking for. Um, I'm not going to say anything yet, but uh, I've been talking to uh, my LFS and uh, he may be bringing me something out of his uh, private collection. Um, nothing, you know, extravagant, but something really nice and colorful, I think. Um, but that's for another video. Anyway, this is Fish Freak Phil. Just bringing you an update on my uh, Fluval Evil 13.5 in a battle for his brush algae using reflux. Anyway, do your research, try things out, and see what happens. Later, y'all.